Hello Libra. It's time for your beginning of November read for this current year. So we get to see what you're doing. Okay, so this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <coughs> Ew. Anyway, um, if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it because it's just a card game, right? Just let it boop you on the nose and away it goes, right? Anyway, let's see what's up with you, Libra. Is this me? What did you have before? I can't remember. Remember, this is one of the first cards I ever read. You have, no, actually, I need that book. I need that book. <clears throat> I wish sometimes that, like, you just pause this, but you can't, so. Okay. There it is. No, that's not it. I'm on eight, not four. <laughs> Let's see. Is this me? Moon phase is new. Stage is acceptance. I cannot recognize myself, but I'm still me. The visual seed, a dark fantasy female with pale skin, is enshrouded by the same by a scanty spiked bikini armor. She holds a fang bat hilted sword against a background of fire and ruin. Where I don't see the bat, but whatever, okay. Sentence I cannot recognize myself. As I can't remember the road that led me here, how can I see the road ahead? Going dark, this card is not about an affirmation, but rather a question. Is this me? Can I recognize <coughs> myself? Maybe yes, maybe no, but for sure, I lost the road I had once the last time I stopped to really think about it. In my heart, I feel maybe like the high school girl that went to the prom, but truly, I am now 45 and I weigh thrice. I feel my true self as the kid that wanted to play soccer with the real Madrid. All this while punching numbers on an Excel file out with an insurance office. It's not necessarily something negative as a dream, lost or corrupted. I could see myself as love is the most important thing in my life, but actually I have very well I have a very well paid job that makes me travel and I sleep alone in hotel rooms. When did we last look at ourselves in the mirror? Do we like what we are? Make no excuses, because the choices which made us what we are are our responsibilities. If an old dream is dead, it's time to dream anew. If the old dream is alive, it's time to go back to it. Alright, that's yours, Libra. I think I think your last cut, the last time I read for you guys, it was something along the lines of um, forgetting oneself. And now you're asking if this is really you, right? Huh. We got five of swords, and then the situation is the seven of cups reverse. Hmm. Wants and wishes, the two of pentacles, fear and the obstacles and challenges. That's you, Libra. Queen of swords. Also, Gemini or Aquarius. Losing your shit. Like, you're trying to cut this out, but I don't think you're being successful in that. There's something that's like leaving you emotionally drained, and I don't know what it is yet, but I don't think you do either just yet. Fears and Rejections is a new start. Starting something new or starting from the beginning. The ops and what started this shit and how it'll end, a lot of fucking anxiety. It's not about the dead cat on the bed. Okay. <coughs> Labor, some mind games got played. <coughs> and your own cutthroat energy might be your obstacle and challenge. Because when the Queen of Swords is reversed, she's a scorned woman. She will cut anything out. If it even comes close to triggering her. Mm. Let's see. Mm. 
Alright, so this Five of Swords scenario. Uh, there's a lot of mind games getting played, and it feels like you can't be happy because people might be watching you a little hard, Libra. Or Crosswatch, or Switch where you need to. Uh, you know. Hold on a minute, because one actually popped up that I didn't mean to put away. But I can't remember what it is now. Shit. One flipped out. I think it was the six, uh, I think it was the six of wands or shadow side. Like, someone drove you into a position where, or you might have got caught up in a position where everyone's trying to set your ass on fire. Uh, however, when you really sit there and concentrate, listen to your guides, your god, your universe, whatever, it kind of becomes a little bit crazily revealed that maybe it's some of this lays in blame to yourself, I hate to say. Or maybe you're recognizing your role in how this shit, um, went down. Maybe you allowed some things to happen that you didn't mean to. You know? Yeah, it might, it, both of those are Leo. And it's kind of like with the strength card. Like, if someone bit off more than they could chew. They got Fenrir the bite tears hand off, if you will. That's an old um, mythology, by the way. So let's see. A situation where someone is emotionally unavailable, or just whatever, um, just emotionally unsatisfied, there might have been a mistress, either a Pisces or a Cancer, who just came the fuck out of nowhere to let it be known that, you know, like, hey, we're not done playing the games, we're not done with these bad vices or whatever, like, she's coming up saying, you know, like, hey, um, someone didn't give up what they were supposed to, you know? That's probably what you're trying to cut out. It's just like, how many fucking times? How many? You might be having a Leo who's playing head games with you, Libra, but I don't know. Wants and wishes with the two of pentacles reverse. Someone wants to leave the grief, but they might have missed the boat out of indecisiveness, which might possibly make this burden last longer than what it should have. Down below with the obstacles and challenges, Libra. It's like the beginning of this relationship drove you crazy, and, and it's the fact that it didn't work that pisses you off more than anything. That's crazy. So it's like this relationship was almost brand fucking new, and then it just still didn't work. But that's what's probably got you score. I mean, like, yeah, the Queen of Swords is definitely a scorned woman for sure. Hmm. No! Oh god. Okay. Definitely not. Okay. The fears and rejections, right? Ace of Wands. It's once again, like, there's a fear of a brand new start because there's a lot of indecisiveness. In the emotions, in the feelings, like, is this me? Like, is this what I want to do with myself? Is this what I want to be? Like, I'm supposed to be a level 48 drow elf with, like, a bat fanged hilted sword and shit. Looking like I'm raiding something or whatever. I'm not supposed to be working at Arby's for, like, 10 something an hour. Because I've been there for five fucking years, you know? Hmm. But then we got a Queen of Pentacles right here, and it's like, you know, someone might have their back turned to these decisions, or maybe they're indecisive about an earth sign, because the earth sign has their back turned? I'm not sure. But that's a fear and a rejection right there. Nine of Swords, reverse. What starts this shit, what ends it? Bad cycle. Everything didn't come out right. Someone threw, like, something in the gears, and now it's going, like, cut, cut. You know. And someone doesn't feel as victorious as they thought they were. Wait. Oh, jeez Louise. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see how you're doing. It's been a while. I think a year, actually, now that I think about it. But, you know. Let's see, with the energy, he's got, yeah, shit didn't work out and you don't feel like you got, like, your pay. It's like, god damn it, it was time. 
and the lack of communication or possibly just talking to oneself is what's developing this like okay if you're dealing with a leo who's a, a, a head game person or who likes to do like shit i guess on the slide i mean i don't know like Mm. Hey, baby. Mm. Are you good at lying? Of course. Okay. Leos are good at lying. Okay. So, anyway, like, this dude might not even talk to you about, like. <laughs> Why do you think I'd be good at lying? I don't know. I just wanted to check. You're a Leo, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's like. Mm. It's like... Lying's bad, don't lie. Yeah. My, my husband said, do not lie to people, because that's not good. Um, I feel like this person, he doesn't communicate with you unless you got something that he could take. And that's why it don't work, you know. He comes up being like, hey, I see you got some stuff, and you're just like a statue. You're just stuck there. And it's just like, dude, I just got paid. I know, but I need like this for this and this and this and it's just like okay and then they just disappear and they don't come back until like two weeks later or some shit or they come back whenever it's convenient or when they know mm. let's see the situation yeah this shit's never gonna end with this mistress and giving and not giving up the vices and shit it's just gonna lead to everything being like all fucked up with the world reverse once again it's still reversed no matter what like this is a completely like fucked cycle i don't want to call it karmic because you know we're all karmics in a way but it's like like we can keep going around town if you want to you know wants and wishes yeah this person like you might end up getting swords dropped on your healed heart it's like every time you end up thinking about it, it's just like they drop right on your heart and it just hurts. To the point where you probably like just get drunk and then like fall off your horse a little bit. Knight of Cups. Like you're expecting somebody to come back almost. Obstacle and challenge. Ah. Oh, well, you got three for this one. You want to finally live somewhere, you want to let these emotions go, and you will do what it means necessary to move and charge ahead and get shit done one way or a goddamn other. Right? Right. Fears and rejections, you just want to go sleep. That's it. You're tired of carrying shit? It's just, it's time for bed. Night, night, you know? Uh, let these emotions fucking go. But I feel like you can't. Like, it's reversed anyway, so it's not going to pour down. It's almost like it's pouring up. It's like, you tip this cup over to release a little bit, and then all the water just went up like a freaky, like, Wes Craven movie, and just seeped right back into the cup, and it's just like, what the fuck? Like, why can't I get rid of this? This is weird. You know? It's one of those things, right? Very creepy. Huh. Where'd you go, little buddy? There he is. Okay, the catalyst as well as the final result, you need to close the fucking door on this shit and go. Like, just get out. Just get, you know. Libra, I feel like you're in the middle of, like, trying to represent a dream and trying to represent who you are. Because this is, like, the second time I've seen where you're just questioning who you actually are. All while doing shit that has nothing to do with who the fuck you are. It's like, is this me? I don't know. Is this you? I don't think I don't think it's you. I think it's whoever you're dealing with, for sure. But when it really comes down to it, like, you know, you are helping to feed into it. And if you want to really figure out who was doing what and who's who, pack your shit and go and see what happens. Because I don't think this person would entirely chase after you the way you want them to, unless you do. Yeah, and just kiss the fucker goodbye. Like, don't even kiss him goodbye. Just, like, wave. With uh, uh, with the bird. Just wave with the bird. Just be like, bye. I miss you. Uh, have a nice life. Never fucking again, you know. But, yeah. Libra, this person really has you questioning who the fuck you are, I have to say. 
I feel like, you know? They have you wonder, like, if a person's making you feel as though you need to question your own fucking integrity, and you need to question who the fuck you are, and whether or not you're right or something like that, you need to just throw that person out, like, just get rid of them, because they're not there for your confidence. They're there to, uh, make sure that you're compliant, and complacent, and you don't think, and that's not a good thing to do, because if you're not thinking, someone's thinking for you, you know? And, you know, Libra, like, my dad's Libra. I was friends with a Libra for 15 years. All you motherfuckers do is think. And I don't see any of y'all Libras letting anybody think for you. Because, Lord knows, no one's gonna outthink a fucking Libra. Right? That was your reading, Libra. So, if y'all enjoyed this reading, you may like, share, and subscribe. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, no pressure, of course, but I'd greatly appreciate it if you did. But... I will, um, what was I saying? I will talk to you guys later. I love your faces. Please take care. Bye-bye.